All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be going over is the Pokemon Horizons Times Pokemon Go event. Basically, this is a collaboration with Pokemon and its new anime series. Um, this will be starting on Tuesday, March 5th at 10 a.m. and ending on March 11th at 8 p.m. Um, what will be happening in this event will be two times EXP for hatching Pokemon and also Team Rocket Balloons will appear more frequently, which is good if you are going for that Shadow slash Purify uh, medal. The Pokemon that we will be seeing and debuting during this event is Charcadet, Armour Rouge and Serilege. Now, when catching Charcadet, there is two ways of ev evolving this Pokemon. You need to have it as your buddy and defeat 30 Psychic type Pokemon to make it into Armour Rouge and 30 Ghost type Pokemon to evolve it into Serilege. Now, we will be going over these Pokemon in this video and if they are on the database already to see where they kind of stack up in their typings and how maybe how far they are up in PvP if they have already got their stats. Now, not only that, there will be a brand new costume Pikachu coming out for Captain's Cat Pikachu. If you have been watching the anime, this is basically one of the main characters, Pikachus. It does have Volt Tackle like Ashes from previous generations. And speaking of Volt Tackle, this is the attack it will have in game. Trainer Battles, you'll have 90 power. However, it does decrease defense by one stage, so it does not hurt you, but it deals more than that moving forward because you lose that defense. Not only that, in gyms and raids, it does 90 power without, obviously, any defense drop because it's not PvP. So I do think this will be big for gyms and raids, potentially not with the defense drop for PvP. But you never know. Now, not only that, with this um, event, if you do screenshot a Pokemon from the wild, you will get an encounter with Lyco or Roy, the two main characters or protagonists, for Horizons, and you will get one of the three starters from Paldea of uh, Spigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. Now, the spawns during this event are going to be Cypher, Nosepass, Spigatito, Fuecoco, Quaxley, and Pormi. And the rare spawns are going to be Beldum, Alolan Grimer, and then Captain's Pikachu. Now, if that's a rare spawn for a Pikachu, that's going to be so difficult to get. Um, especially around my area, we don't really get the rare spawns quite a lot. So you have to go out your way to get these. So you might not see as many Captain Pikachus as previously thought. Now, in 2k eggs, 5k eggs, and 10k eggs, you will get the following Pokemon. In 2k eggs, you'll get Charcadet, 5k eggs, you'll get Charcadet, and 10k eggs, you'll get Charcadet. So no matter what eggs you open, you have the chance of getting, getting Charcadet. And it will probably be the case of 10k eggs, you'll get a better chance, and then it obviously decreases depending on what side kilometer egg you are going for. Now, if you are like me and you don't have the rare spawns, this is something good that I do like the Pokemon Go are doing. In one star raids, they do add the rare spawn Pokemon. So, as you can see there, we got Captain's Cat Pikachu. I'll probably be doing at least one of these one star raids and adding it as a short because I do want at least one Captain's Cat Pikachu with Volt Tackle. Other Pokemon in 1 star raids are Rhyhorn and Rockruff. In 3 star raids you have Chansey, Noctowl and Metagross. Unfortunately not with Meteor Mash. Um, doesn't really get its legacy move until Calm Day. And then in field research you will get the following Pokemon. Pikachu, Skarmory, Sprigatito, Quaxley, Golduck, Rockruff and Fuecoco. Um, it does say there is going to be an Ultra Legends box within the web store. This bundle is 3 remote raid passes and 10 premium battle passes and 10 incubators. For £15, that is not worth it. If you think about what was there before in a previous video that I did, you got 50 raid passes for 20 quid Or $20, whatever it is. So for $5 more, you get 40 battle passes. This is not worth it. Do not spend your money on this. Um, even for the incubators, it's not worth it. So wait until there's a better box or save your money for big events like GoFest or Sinotaur and buy something then when you've got your coins available to you that you can spend on these better boxes that do come out during big events. So let's move on to Serral Edge, Charcadet and Armour Rouge. Alright guys, so unfortunately there's not much um, 
available information yet on Charcadet. However, on PvP Poke, which is what I use for some of my PvP teams, um, we do have some information. So Charcadet um, at 828 CP. I'm guessing this is for the Great League, so let's just change that to the Master League. Uh, doesn't mention any... Okay, so this is the highest level, so this is where it's going to be. So you've got 828 as the CP with an, its attack stat is 89.9, defense of 74.7, and a HP stat of 113. Obviously, moving forward, you will have armor. Uh, let's have a look. Armor Rouge, which has a CP of 3628 at max level with 15, 15, 15. Um, not only that, it has an attack stat of 209.2, a defense of 168, and a HP of 178. So not the best of stats overall. Um, let's have a look at Seraledge. Seraledge, sorry. So Seraledge is a fire and ghost type light Litwick. It has a CP of 3,586, with an attack stat of 213.4. A defense of 171.4 and a stamina of 164. Once again, not the greatest. However, depending on its moves, we might get more use out of this one than we do out of Armour Rouge. Just because of its ghost typing, it takes down obviously Mewtwo, things like that. So I would definitely keep a lookout for a Sever Ledge. Obviously, you should get one of each for your Pokedex anyway. Um, let's have a look at Armour Rouge's um, move. So it does get Psy Shock, Flame Thrower, Flame Charge, Heat Wave. So not the greatest, obviously. It's still getting stabbed with Psy Shock. Um, what other moves do we get? Ember or Incinerate. Um, but yeah, i definitely go for Several Edge over this all day. Now, it doesn't mention where it will be, like numbers-wise. So let's have a look at... The uh, Master League is probably going to be a bad one to look at. So let's have a look at the Ultra League if it loads. So let's have a look at Seraledge. It's not even in the ranking. Um, Armour Rouge, not in the ranking. I'm guessing because it's not out yet. So hopefully when we do get the Pokemon out in a few days, we will get better knowledge of where they rank in PvP and in raids as well. Other than that, that is it. Um, let's just have a look, a quick look at Pikachu because um, it's not going to be on the top like couple, obviously. But if we can find a Raichu, we can potentially move to it. We cannot, so let's just search Pikachu. So. Fun, uh, Volt Tackle is not here, however, I do think it will outdo Wild Charge by quite a bit. Um, can we have a look at what damage Wild Charge does do? So it's got the same power as Wild Charge in Raids, however, has one, uh, 10 less power in Trainer Battles, and obviously Wild Charge does not get the defense drop. So we will have... Oh, sorry, yes it does. Wild Charge does get the defense drop. So it's basically a worse uh, Wild Charge. Depends on how quick it, it goes up, it might be worth it. We'll have to see when all the information does come out for uh, Volt Tackle. But I don't think it's going to be mega to having um, Pikachu in your party. It might help Raichu's. Um, but even then, with these stats, I would definitely not say so. You've obviously got Raikou and things like that who are a better Pokemon overall. So, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you are enjoying the content. Obviously, we have moved to not only Pokemon Go, but Pokemon as a general like game. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content. Um, we did look over the Pokemon percents yesterday for all the other games, including Pokemon Go, but we didn't go into too much depth. Um, so let me know what you thought and also please consider hitting that subscribe button as we are trying to hit 1000 by the end of the year and all your support does help and I'll speak to you all in the next one.